Hey guys, Pastor Nathan here. Just want to talk to you a little bit about um, fakes and the real thing. As Jesus followers, um, we run into fakes a fair bit of the time, a lot of stuff masquerading as the real thing. And a lot of it's not very easy to pick out unless you know where to look. Um, it's kind of like this, this $5 bill. Um, most people aren't going to mistake this for monopoly money. You know, it has characteristics you know what to look for. Um, even in counterfeit money, the best counterfeits are not the same thing as a real uh, $5 bill. As Jesus followers, one of the counterfeits that we have to look out for is this thing called um, moral therapeutic deism. Moral therapeutic deism, you ask? Well, it's basically a, a way of saying this. And it's be good to other people, feel good about yourself, and then do whatever you want and God is watching out there somewhere, but he doesn't really care about. Now that's a problem. Because while that might look a lot like what Jesus says, well, Jesus, you know, Jesus says, uh, uh, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Be good might look like that, and, and feel good might look like a little bit like, come to me, all you who are overburdened, heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Do what you want. Jesus, he never says that. He says, do this. Trust me. And while, you know, while being good and feeling good and, and doing what you want might kind of look like what a Jesus follower uh, should look like, at the end of the day, when it comes to eternity, MTD, moral therapeutic deism, is monopoly money. It's worthless. The reason it's worthless is because it, it never deals with sin. Um, being good just means I got to treat somebody the way I would want to be treated or you know, the way I think they want to be treated. It doesn't serve. Uh, feeling good doesn't, doesn't deal with sin. It says I'm going to push that to a corner and never actually deal with my shame or guilt. And doing whatever I want means that I'm not accountable to anyone. So uh, the problem with MTD, eternally speaking, is it never deals with uh, the thing that keeps me from God, which is you know, the fact that I've broken his law and his commands and that I need a savior. I need somebody to, to rescue me from this because I can't rescue myself. MTD says, don't worry, be happy. Um, Jesus says, no, you need a savior and uh, I'm, I'm that guy. You need someone to take care of your sin and I, I've done it at the cross. The only thing that gets you somewhere in eternity is Jesus and following Jesus. And Jesus says, listen to me, do what my commands say. One of the first things Jesus has his disciples do is follow him, uh, trust him, just that, that, you know, walk with him, be with him, spend time with him. And that ultimately leads them to, you know, further trust, further love. I'm going to show them uh, this is what love looks like. And uh, I want you to th go do that too, based out of a love that you have for me, a trust that you have um, in me and what I'm going to do for you. Instead of just being good, love one another, as I've loved you. Instead of feeling good about yourself, take up your cross daily and follow me. It's not that Jesus followers want to be masochists. Um, we're not out there trying to like you know feel bad about ourselves or feel uh, down or be depressed or anything like that. That's that's not the point. Um, the point is that we're not pursuing happiness as an end goal. We're not about trying to be happy. You know, happiness is not the thing that drives us. If I'm not happy, uh, then I won't do it. If it doesn't make me happy, then I must not need to do it. That's not the thing that drives the Jesus follower. The thing that drives the Jesus follower is trusting Jesus and then following his commands, you know, trusting what he's done for us and then doing what he says he wants us to do. Um, instead of using something as fleeting as my feelings as the um, primary thing that navigates this world or helps me to navigate this world. Instead of doing whatever you want, put the other ahead of yourself. Serve and don't look to be served. And oh, by the way, God's not watching somewhere at a distance, laughing when you make your mistakes, applauding when you 
do stuff right, he's actually right there with you. That's God. He's not somewhere far off. He's very near. He's promised to dwell with us, anyone who believes. I hope that's been a little bit helpful to you. As you look at your life, as you look at a, a, the world saying that you should just be happy, when Jesus says, no, you follow me. I hope that's helpful this week to you. As you try to figure out what's fake and what's real in this life. Take care.